Good morning, guys. Uh, today, inshallah, we have a new part in our readers and writers book. And the part of today is about a grammar. And we have like an important lesson today. Our lesson is about subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement. So what does that mean? What is the meaning of that the subject agrees with the verb? Okay, or the verb agrees with the subject. They are checking hands or what? So subject verb agreement, guys, that means if I have a singular subject, that means the verb must be singular. And if I have a plural subject, the verb will be like agree with the, the plural. So let's see that. What is the subject in a sentence? For example, when I have when I have a sentence such as this one, it is the first of all he describes the subject for you. What is the subject? The subject, as we discussed before about it, the subject is a person or thing doing the verb that we talk about it. So, what is the subject in a sentence? A subject is the person or thing doing the verb. So that subject must agree with the verb and the verb must agree with the subject. Each one of them have to agree with the other. For example, the pig eats all day. The owl sleeps all day. As we see here, the subject is pig. So pig is the subject of the sentence. And as we see it here is singular. So, something you have to keep it in mind, guys. This is like uh, a strict rule. You have to keep it in your mind about subject and verb agreement. Any verb ends in its, its subject is singular. Again, any verb ends in its, its subject is singular. So, let's check that rule together. As you see in this sentence here, we have the verb eats, has s at the end. And the subject already is singular, big. I'm saying like pig. I'm not saying like pigs. I'm saying just pig. So the verb eat has s at the end. And I and what I've said, I, I've said that any verb ends in s, its subject is singular. So the subject of the sentence here, pig, is singular. And the verb ends in s. So this is right. And the second sentence. The owl sleeps all day. So the verb here is sleeps. Ends in s. I have to pay the attention for the s here. This is very important, guys. So the subject owl is singular. Yes, that's correct. So the owl sleeps. I'm not saying the owl sleep. Okay, so if I want to change that, so make or add the S to the pig. So it will be the pigs eat without adding S. So any verb ends in S, its subject is singular. Let's see some more examples. Subject verb agreement. So the subject and the verb, I can say that they like, agree when they shake hands when they shake hands of each other that means they agree and that means the sentence is is correct so how can i say that the sentence is correct when they agree okay with each other in the sentence let's see that see the same before examples but now we have something different the owl sleeps as you see the S, we discussed about this point. And as I told you that any verb ends in S, its subject is singular, all day. The owls, see that? The owls sleep. So the verb here without S. That means when you get the S in one of the two important words in the sentence, the subject or the verb, so the other must be without. That means what? It means if the subject has S, so the verb will be without. Same as this example. The owls sleep. 
And the verb has this, that means the subject must be without. So the owl sleeps. Think about it. Anyone has this in the end, um, in the sentence, so the other must be without. So the S in the sentence must be with one of them, with the subject or with the verb. You will say something like more cleverest. When you say that, Mr. What about like, um, uh, what about the regular uh, plural nouns when I say children? So children like doesn't have it uh, at the end. So that's why I, I, I'm, I'm not like, uh, or I don't want to point you in, in this side to not be confused. Okay, so what I want to say is that if any verb ends in S, its subject is singular. That's it. So I want you to keep this in mind, not anything else. Because when I say children, when I say sheep, for example, deer, okay, moose, geese. So these kinds of plural nouns do not have S's at the end. So this will be like a problem. So how do I know that it uh, has S or doesn't have or... So keep it in mind that any verb ends in S, its subject is singular, whatever, okay? That means in, in, in any like other cases, so the subject is regular or leg, uh, regular, whatever. So when you do not get like S at the end of the verb, that means the subject is a plural, that's it. Okay, so like this, we can like end the uh, uh, arguing. Subject verb agreement, like um, different, uh, other examples, when I say one dog, so just one, I'm talking about one dog. So that means this is singular. So as you see, the verb is, the verb here is is. So the verb is, has it at the end. So any verb ends in is, its subject is singular. This is correct. Is, does, was, has, eats, for example. So any verb ends in is, its subject is singular. Keep it in mind. The second example, two dogs are, two dogs are. So the subject, as I see the verb here is a plural mister. Yes, because the subject is a plural. Ends in S or not, this is, forget it. Don't think about the S. Think about the verb. If the verb ends in S, that means the subject is singular. If the verb doesn't end in S, that means the verb or the subject is plural. That's it. Let's see some more. Subject verb agreement when you are a subject, that means the noun that we talk about it or the pronoun is singular, you must use singular verbs. Singular verbs, as we discussed, you have is and was and does and has and goes. For example, any verb you get like is at the end, that means its subject is singular. That's it. Any verb ends in S, its subject is singular. So easy. So easy. Okay. The second part, when your subject noun or pronoun is a plural, you must use the plural verbs. So are, where, go, do, have, and so on. So I, I just, I want you to think about this table. That table is very important. This is the one, you know. So any like verb and then it's, its subject is singular that's it keep it in mind then you will get the other like uh, sentences or examples like easier okay to be un understood okay so uh, right now let's know the definition of the subject and verb agreement for example the subject and the verb agreement in the sentence must work together must agree must check hands to make most of present tense verbs agree with the singular nouns, he, she, or it, at, is, or yes. So this is like blah, 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 different information, or this is like a crowd in the mind, and I don't want you to know about it. That's it. We explained the main important point in the lesson, just to know that if the verb ends in is, its subject is singular. That's it. Keep it in mind. Okay. Its subject is singular. Keep it in mind. Okay, so right now we have page uh, 
203, guys. Page 203. Okay. So please solve this page, page 203. Okay. Page 203. <clears throat> okay, so page 203, please guys solve the page and send it through the WhatsApp group because we have a lot of exercises today we want to do together. So solve this page and send it. Okay, Abdul Aziz. So pay the attention for the headline of the question shared. It's very important, guys. Write yes as the subject agree or agrees with the verb. Write no if the subject doesn't agree with the verb. That's it. So simple. If they agree with each other, write yes. They do not agree, write no. Okay. So as you see that here, you have um, the uh, verbs that are red as you see the red colored words are like the verbs such as plan becomes is catches and like that then the second question just choose the correct verb which agrees with the subject okay so you have to pay the attention with that so abdul aziz qadiri okay the first one Okay, excellent, Abdraziz. Who's else, guys? See the ball. Okay, excellent, Yasin. Excellent, Ali. Who's else, guys? Is. <clears throat> Number six is yes, yeah, is. Number six is yes. And why it's yes? So as you see, the subject or the verb is, has is at the end. And the subject is singular, that. That here as demonstrative adjective refers to singular. That and this, both the demonstrative adjectives or pronouns like refer to a singular. And the verb is singular, so must be yes. Fix it here yeah, is yes. Okay, very good, yeah, Khalid Sultan.
اوكي برجر يا طلال اوكي وات اباوت ذا سكند بارت اوف ذا كويستشن يا محمد لافي محمد لافي يو هاف ذا سكند كويستشن دايركشنز سولف ات عبد الله مشعل اوكي فيري جود يا عبد الله سولف ذا سكند كويستشنز جايز ذيس كويستشن وي هاف تو كويستشنز ذيس ذا فيرست وان اند ذا سكند كويستشن اوكي فيري جود محمد اشرف نمبر 8 يو نو جايز The pronoun I, the pronoun I, the pronoun I, keep it in mind, the pronoun I. In the present tense, in the present tense, that means the verb or the verbs which end in S or without S. So we like use the I as a plural. Okay, so we use the I as a plural. So I say I like, not I likes. Okay, I say I like only in that case, only this case with the I, with the present tense, with the present tense. That means the verbs which end in S or without S. We use the I as a plural. So we say I like, not I likes. Okay, so change it to be like. So this is keeping in mind. Fix it, Muhammad Ashraf. Abdullah Mishal, fix it. Fix number eight. Number eight, guys. Number eight. Pay the attention for number eight. This one. So I here, we use it as a plural. Think about I as a plural. Okay, so we'll be like I like. Okay. Okay, very good, yeah, Halim. Okay, very good, yeah, Muhammad Lafi. Okay, Tamir Jabali, very good, yeah, Tamir. But this is about the spelling, guys. You know, uh, I would say it, but uh, just. Uh, okay, so I would say it, or I would explain it, but just uh, I was waiting for the others just to send their answers. For the spelling, this is important, guys. Number nine. So flies. So the Y here preceded by a consonant. So we have to change it to I, then add ES. Okay, so pay the attention for that. Pay the attention for the spelling. This is important in the verbs. When you get I, this is in nouns, in verbs, in any word. Okay, pay the attention for that. If the Y preceded by a consonant, change it to I, then add a yes. That's it. Okay, so we'll be flies, the second one near Tamar. Okay, the second one. This correction for the spelling. So no names here. The one who hasn't write his name, Muhammad Ashraf. Okay, okay, Muhammad. Very good, yeah, Muhammad. Uh, Hazim Tahir. Okay, very good, guys. One more thing you have to know, it, guys. One more thing. Pay the attention for that. That when you get the articles A or N. A or an means one. When I say an insect, that means I say one insect. That means it's singular. When I say a good story, so that means I'm saying one good story. So A or an, A or an, like, um, uh, means one. A or an means one. So when I talk about A or N, so that means I say one. So one is singular. We know that one is singular. When I say one, so one is singular. 
So an insect that means one insect. So that means the subject is singular. A good story, one good story. So the subject is singular. So pay the attention for that. Okay, so let me see this. This slide is very important, guys. Pay the attention for this slide. You have to memorize the singular verbs. This column is very important. Once you memorize this column, so the subject verb agreement will be so easy. Okay, Muhammad. Muawiyah. Okay, again, yeah, Muhammad. Again, uh, Muhammad Muawiyah. Uh, don't forget that the I here is a plural. The I in the present tense, guys, is a plural. So the verb must be like, not likes. Okay, like, not likes. This is about number eight. And Muhammad Muawiyah, number uh, number ten. Number ten, as you see, bears has s at the end. So the verb must be without s. Two is that means this is wrong. So bears sleeps, this is wrong. Okay, so bears sleep without s. Okay, pay the attention for that. When you get s's, guys, when you get the subject ends in s, so pay the attention for that. When you get the subject ends in s, so that means the verb must be without. Two s's in the subject and the verb, this is wrong. Okay, this is incorrect like structure. This is incorrect agreement. This is not agreement. Okay, so that they are not agreeing at that time. So you say bear is asleep. S with the subject, so the verb will be without. S with the verb, so that means the subject will be without. Okay. Sati Ali. Number four, yes, Sati. Pay the attention for number four. Bears has it at the end. Catches has a said the end. Two S's, this is wrong. One S only. One S is acceptable. Bears with this, okay. Or catches with this, it's okay. But two S's, bears has this at the end, and catches has this at the end, they are not agreed. So will be no. Fix it, yes, Ati. Number five, yes, Ati. Some ants, ants has this at the end. Grows has it at the end. Two S's, this is wrong. Only one S we needed. So the S will be with the subject or with the verb. They have to decide. So this is, will be wrong. This is no. Fix it, yes, Ati. Okay. One more. Number seven, yes, Ati. Number seven. Thousands of ants. Ants has this. Lives has it at the end. So two S's. Not agreement. So they are not agreed. Okay? So that means this is what? This is wrong. No. Right or no. This must be with one of the subject or the verb, guys. One of them only takes this. Okay? Bears sleeps. Wrong. Bears sleep. This with one of the two, like, uh, the two subject and the verb. Okay? Okay, this is about Sati. Fix that, yes, Sati, and send your correction again. Okay, guys. Okay, so these are the answers for the page. Okay. Right now we have extra exercises, guys. These are like extra exercises. Extra exercises. Okay. So, um, uh, so uh, uh, I wanna, I wanna you uh, practice these exercises with me. Okay. So pay your attention, and let's get it started. Khalid Sultan.
Yes, Mr. Okay, read the sentence, Yeah, Khaled. Okay. okay. The one. Boom. Okay. So which verb agrees with the subject here? Eat. Eats. The first one or the second? The second one. The second one. Very good. You, do you know why? Singular. Excellent. Because the subject here is singular. The subject is singular. And if the subject is singular, so the verb must end with this. Okay? Yes, yes must yes. end in this. Yes, very good, yeah, Khaled. Excellent. Thanks. Uh, Ali? Ali Wael, number two. Ali Wael. No answer. Mohammed Fahad. Yes. Number two, yeah, Mohammed. Read sentence number two. My mom like pizza and likes pizza and tacos. Okay. So which verb here agrees with my mom? I am Muhammad. Muhammad Fahad. Likes. Do you know why? Rural. No, singular. singular. Because my mom is singular. Okay? Okay, Okay, so my mom is a singular subject here, guys. My mom. I'm talking about my mom. Just only one mom. So the verb must end here in S. So likes will be like likes. Okay, so my mom likes. Okay. Muhammad Lafi. Yes, mister. Number three. Number three, my friends watch a lot of television. Television. We put it the uh, watch because uh, we it's plural. Friend is plural. Yes. yes. So, so I'm saying my friends. Already the word or the subject of friends end, ends in s, guys. So ends in s. So the verb must be without s. So when you say my friends watches, this is wrong. Two s's you have. So this is wrong. This is incorrect. But my friends watch without the the subject or the verb must get the s. Okay, one of them only. Okay. Okay, very good, Yeah, Muhammad. Qais Firas. Yes. Yes, Mister. Number four. My brother and sister uh, play basketball. Mm -hmm. The so second one. Which which uh, which verb uh, agrees with the subject here? The the second one plays. Plays, but here I'm saying my brother and sister, and this is a plural. Yeah. Uh huh. So play on the play. Yes, play without this. Okay. Yeah. So as I told you before, guys. Thanks, Yaqis. So as I told you before, that the subject must not end in s to say that it is a plural or not. Sometimes the subject is a regular. Sometimes the subject is compound, such as my brother and sister. So my brother and sister is a compound subject. No need to think that any subject to be like a plural so must end in s. This is wrong. This is incorrect. That's why I, I told you don't retract yourself in this area. Okay, to not be confused. So the subject sometimes is a regular, sometimes is a compound. So anyway, it's like a plural. So here will be like a play. Why? Because my brother and sister is a compound subject. 
refers to a plural. Okay. Abdul Aziz. Uh, number five, Abdul Aziz. One of the cars go goes very fast. Uh -huh. Go, because the subject is plural. Uh, what is the subject? Cars. Uh, cars. Okay. You know, Abdul Aziz, I, I, I want to thank you uh, for like uh, putting us in this. This is a way of confusion, and this is this is good. When I say guys, for especially these sentences are very important. Pay your attention, Abdul Aziz. When I say one of the cars, I'm not saying I'm not talking about the cars. I'm talking about one only of the cars. So you have to pay the attention for these kind of sentences. Very tricky. So when you say one of the cars, that means you mean one only, only one car. So the subject must be, huh? What do you have the Goes. Goes or go, the second or the first? The second. The second one. Because I'm talking about only one car of the cars. So you have to understand the sentence before doing any answer, before choosing. Okay, so when I say one of the cars, that means you, when you say, or uh, for example, when you see cars here and you say, yes, the subject here ends in S without thinking, so it will be go, yes, it's correct. No, you have to read the sentence, you have to understand the meaning, and this is important. So one of the cars, that means I mean only one car of the cars. This is the meaning, one car of the cars. So it will be goes very fast. Understand, Abdulaziz? Yeah. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, Karim Asam. Karim Asam has gone. Okay. Uh, Yasin Nidal. Yasin. Yes, Mr. Okay, just one second, Yasin. Yasin Nadal. Yes. Okay, Yasin. Uh, number six. Mr. Brown. Just one second, Karim. One second, Karim. Okay, number six. Read it. Mr. Brown, the banker, can contest a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Uh, count this. Count. Why? Count. Why? Because Mr. Brown, the subject singular. Excellent. Excellent, Yasin. Thanks. So here will be counts, guys, because the subject of the sentence is Mr. Brown. So, so don't be confused when you get like two commas and you get the banker. The banker here is explanation to Mr. Brown. When I ask who is Mr. Brown, so you say the banker. So don't confuse when you get like that, two commas or something like this. This is a way of explanation. So forget it. Think about only Mr. Brown. So Mr. Brown is singular, just a noun, okay? So the uh, verb to agree with the subject so must be like counts. Okay. Uh, Fahad Naif. Fahad Naif. Yes, mister. Number seven, yeah, Fahad. The cats around in the mud rule. Okay, why? 
because it's not uh, in the in the subject not but x s again say it because the subject ends in s so the verb must be without this is what you you want to say huh the cat's rule around in the mud okay because the cat has this at the end yes is plural noun uh -huh. okay very good very good Eva. okay so because the the noun or the subject cats here ends in s guys so the verb must be without only one s we need it only one s with the subject to be with the subject or to be with the uh, the verb that's it okay so we'll be roll okay muhammad muawiyah yes mister okay muhammad number eight the ice cream the ice cream that this, this, that. this ice cream this hmm. that's Mm. Delicious. 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 Okay. So, what is the verb that agrees with the subject here? Delicious. Habibi, you choose one of these two. Which one that we want to choose to agree with the subject? Plus. Okay, which one? The first or the second? The second. The second one. Do you know why? Hmm. You know why, Ahmed? Yes. Why? Because it is subject. Singular. Because the subject is singular. Only one ice cream I'm talking about. Understand? Understand. Very good, Muhammad. So this, this here, guys, refers to a singular subject. This, this and that. Okay? So this refers to a singular subject. So the verb must, like, end in it. Tastes. Okay. Very good, yeah, Muhammad. Omar Anas. Yes, Mr. Okay, Omar. Number nine. My cousins. My cousins leave. Cousins. My cousins. My cousins live in Chicago. Mm -hmm. mm. What's your choice? My Which choice? verb? Mm. Leave. The first one or the second? The first. The first. Do you know why? Yeah. Why? Because this is plural. Huh? Yes, very good. So, very good. Young. So, the, the, the subject here, cousins, guys, ends in S. So, only one S we need it. Only one S. With the subject or with the verb. So, my cousins live. Okay. Okay. Uh, Muhammad Ashraf. Ten, yeah, Muhammad. Yes, Mister. Number ten. Okay. My my team. My team. From from all the the. The same time. Uh huh. Okay. So. The losses. Uh huh. Which one? Loss. Loss. Uh, yes. Which one? Which one? Number one. The first one. Lose. No. The first or the second? The second. You know why? Why? Huh? 
Why? Because he's singular. 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 Okay, very good, Muhammad. Pay the attention for that, guys. The word team is a collective noun. It refers to a collective noun. But we have like some different collective nouns such as team or family uh, or police. So these are called like collective nouns that the word itself refers to a group of people. Okay, so my team here, when I talk about the team, when I talk about the team as like one um, person or as one group, as one a group, so that means it's singular. Okay, that means it's singular. But when I say teams, teams, so that means I'm talking in a plural. So here, the, the, the variety here and the spelling itself. But the word team, if I mean it, if I mean team as like, like a group of people, so it will be like a plural. If I mean it as a word, just a word, right, uh, refers to one group of people, so it will be like singular. Okay, so it will be huh, loses with this at the end. Why? Because the subject here is singular. According to what? According to the spelling, keep it in mind. The verb must agree with the subject in the spelling, not in the meaning. In the spelling, not in the meaning. So you say that, Mr. The word team refers to a group of people. So they are many. So it must be a plural. This is in the meaning. That is in the meaning, not in the spelling. So we are talking here about the subject and the verb agreement in the spelling, not in the meaning. If the word team has this at the end to be like my teams, so that means the verb will be without. And the word team here without s, so the verb must include this, include this. Okay. Um, okay. Tamir Jabari. Yes, mister. Number 11, yeah, Tamir. Okay. My turn mm -hmm. wants to be a teacher. <clears throat> so your choice, which one, the first or the second? The second. Why? Michael is mm -hmm. one person. Yes, excellent. Because Michael here is a singular subject refers to a singular or one person. Excellent. So it will be once with this. And as we discussed about this point, any verb in this, its subject is singular. Do number 12, via Tamir. We hmm. need hmm. need Which one? Need The first or the second? The first. The first one. Why? Because hmm. we hmm. more. Yes. We here is a plural pronoun. Plural pronoun. So we, plural pronoun. So the verb must be like without s. So we say we need. We say we need. Okay, thanks, Yatamir. Very good. Okay, we have the next page, guys. Uh, let me send you this page without answers. If you want to do it by yourselves. So no problem, I think. It may help. So if you want to do this uh, like exercise by yourselves, guys, so no problem. OK, we have one more exercise. Satya. Yes, Mr. Number one. The cats rolling, dash rolling around in the grass. Uh -huh. Love. Which one? The first. Why? Because cats is plural noun. Excellent. The subject cats. Okay. Uh, thanks, Yasati. The subject cats 
uh, ends in S here, guys. When we think about the spelling, so we need only one S. When we think about the spelling, so we need only one S. So you have two sides to decide that the subject and the verb agree or not. How? Number one, according to the spelling. According to the spelling. If one of them ends in S, so the second one must be without. Number two, according to the meaning. According to the meaning. If the subject refers to plural of people, of persons, of things, so the subject must be without S. So you have to play in the two sides. Okay? Okay. Salman Uthman. Yes, Mr. Number two, yes, Salman. My mom and my dad like, like, Hmm. Which one you choose? Uh, likes. And the second or the first? Uh, second. The second one. But you know, uh, Salman, I say here, my mom and dad, they are one or they are two? Two. Two. So that means a plural. So the verb must be without S. Huh? So what is the correct choice? Huh? Like or likes? The like. Like, very good. Because my mom and dad like two. They are two. And two means a plural. So the verb must be without this. Understand, Salman? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thanks, Salman. <clears throat> Rayyan Badr. Rayyan. No answer. Muhammad Naif. Yes, teacher. Okay, number three. My friend. Teacher. Mm. My friend. Mm. Sarah. Sarah. Mm. Two. Mask. Mm. And the team. Time. Okay. So which verb you choose? Hmm. I and I. Which one? Mohammed Naif. Yeah. Which one you choose? The yeah, first or the second? First. The first one. Listen. Okay? Okay, so let's read that. Let's read about the subject. I'm saying my friend, Sarah. So how many friends? One or more? More. No, I'm saying my friend, Sarah. Huh? When I say my friend, Muhammad. Muhammad is one or more? One. One, that means it's singular. So the verb must end in what? S. Okay. Because the subject here is singular. I'm saying my friend Sarah. It's only one. I'm talking about one person. So that means the subject must end in S. Understand? Yeah. Okay, very good. Muhammad Imad. Muhammad. Yes. Uh, number four. 
my brother does no my brother plays golf mm -hmm. so which one the second one second one why because he is one person because yes 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 so my brother is singular subject and refers to one person so the verb must end in s very good yeah Muhammad. thanks uh karim Asam. yes mister number five karim one of the teachers study ah. on the week weekends so which one you choose? Mister. Uh, which one you choose? First one. The first one. First Why? One. Why? Because teachers. Teachers is. I explained plural. this point, Ya Karim. I explained this point, Ya Karim. I think you weren't there when I explained it. You weren't paying your attention. I explained this point to Abdul Aziz Qadri. Okay? And I'll ask Abdul Aziz about that. Where is Abdul Aziz Qadri? Abdul Aziz. Yes. Number five, Abdul Aziz. One of the teachers. Pay Spanish, your attention, ya Karim Asam. Huh? Spanish on the weekend. Okay, so which choice is correct? Studies. My why, my, why Abdul Aziz? Because uh, one of the teachers, one yes, single. Because we, we mean only one teacher of the teachers. Understand it, Karim? I'm not talking yes. about the whole teachers. I'm talking about one teacher of the teachers. Okay? Yeah. So pay your okay. attention next time, Karim. Okay. okay. Thanks, Karim. Thanks, Abdul Aziz. Excellent. Okay, guys. So it's like that. When you think about like the sentence and you see that uh, just I have a subject in the nest, so I choose without understanding. So this is incorrect. So I say one of the teachers, not all the teachers. So one teacher of the teachers studies. Okay, that means I mean the singular. Okay. Hazim Tahir. Yes, Mr. Number six, yeah, Hazim. Mr. Jones, the lower start every day uh -huh. go is why because it's talking about mr jones as mr jones is a singular very good so the subject here is mrs jones and mrs jones here is a singular and don't say that mrs jones here ends in s no this is just a name this is a name and it's a spelling like that okay so mrs jones the lawyer he explained after that that subject it's a job or it's work or it's position is like that to know it's singular so it will be goes okay very good yeah has him thanks hamoud fahad Hamoud. Yes, Mr. Hamoud, number seven, Hamoud. Okay. Our dog grows tea dash walking on the bus. Mm -hmm. Our dog grows tea enjoy walking on the bus. Enjoy. The first one you mean? The first one without us. Why? Because he's a one dog. So one dog, that means singular. So the verb must end in S. Huh? I discussed about this point and I said any verb ends in S, it's subject to singular. So what is the correct choice? Enjoys. Enjoys, yes. Because we are talking about our dog and it's singular. So the verb must end in S. Understand, got it? Okay, Mr. Okay. This booklet, yes. yeah? 
No, 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 this is not booklet. These are like extra sheets, okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Ya Hamoud. Halim. Yes. Number eight. These dresses mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. beautiful. Okay, so which choice? Look. The first or the second? The first. The first, yes. Sure, because the uh, number one, we have a demonstrative adjective here, these, and these, the first two, plural, and the dresses, the subject's dresses, ends in S, so only one S we need it, so the verb will be lock without S. Okay. Very good, Halim. Yes, Amin. Yes, I mean. No answer. Bandar Saleh. Bandar Saleh. No answer. El Walid Abdul Muhsin. No one, sir. Abdullah Mishal. Yes, mister. Okay, Abdullah, number nine. Okay. My aunt does French each summer. Uh-huh. Um, second. The second one visits. You know why? Uh, yes. Why? Because uh, she uh, singular. Because the subject of my aunt here is singular. Singular. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Abdullah. Okay. So we'll be visits. Abdul Malik Al Hazmi. Abdul Malik has gone. Okay. Uh, Talal Yusuf. Yes, Mister. Number ten, ya Talal. Our grandparents and new and new Mexico. Uh huh. Which one? The first one, live. Yes, no. very good. You know why? Yeah. Why? Because grand, grand, grand parent, it's a singular. No. No, the opposite. It's a plural. Grandparents ends in S. You see it? You see the S? Aya Talal. Okay, thanks, Yatalal. Okay, so our grandparents, this is the second or the first side that I ask you guys to play on it. That when you get S at the end of the subject, so the verb will be without S. So my grandparents live. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ahmed Hassan. Ahmed Hassan. Your mic is opened and no sound. <clears throat> Azidin al Tahan. Yes, Mr. Okay, as number 11. Okay. Mm. Mm. Read, Yaz. Yes. Okay. Michael. 
Michael and Sport. To add it the cheese roasted. Aha, so which verb you choose? Hmm. We choose a first uh, one. First one, excellent, because Michael and Sophia like a plural. Yeah, be because two. Yes, two, excellent, yes. Okay, so we'll be like want. Uh, Muhammad Fahad Nu'man. Yes. Number 12, yeah, Muhammad. They hmm. much better today. Okay. Which one you choose? Feel. Which one? The first or the second? Feel. First or second? First. The first one. Very good. Because at the moment they refer to plural. Okay, guys. Um, so uh, let me send you this page too. Okay, guys, so I want you to solve this page right now and send it through the WhatsApp group. I want to check it with you before uh, ending the session. Solve this page, guys. You see it. Just uh, write from 1 to 12 in your copybook. From 1 to 12. 1, write your choice only. That's it. No need to write the sentence or anything. Okay? Solve this page right now and send it through the WhatsApp group right now. Okay. So one and write your choice. Two and write your choice. Three and write your choice. That's it. Okay. From one to twelve. Write it in your copy book and send it right now through the WhatsApp group. Here you go, guys. Solve this page, guys, right now in your copybook. Just write the answers and send it through the us of the group. I'm waiting.
اوكي تامر نمبر 4 از انكريكت يا تامر اور برنسيبل از سينجلر اوكي ريفيرز تو ا سينجلر بيرسون اور سينجلر مانجر سو ماست بي بلايز اوكي نمبر 4 اوكي And uh, number seven. Number seven is incorrect. Our cat. We talk about only one cat. Okay, so must be a licks. Our cat licks with the S. Okay, very good, Yatamir. Very good. Yasin Nadar. Yasin Nadal, I think you've solved something else here, Yasin. Yasin, do you see the screen, Yasin? Solve the page which is on the screen, Yasin. The page which is on the screen, not the pages uh, that I sent. No, that page, you see it on the screen, this is, you have to solve it. Okay, Abdul Aziz. <clears throat> Number two is incorrect, Abdul Aziz. My mom and dad, two people. This is plural. Okay, and you've solved something else, guys. Guys, I'm asking you to solve this page, please. You see the page on the screen or not? I'm asking you to solve this page, which you see it on the screen. This one. Okay. 
اوكي حازم طاهر اوكي اوكي اكسلنت يا حازم اكسلنت حازم طاهر اوكي تامر برجر يا تامر محمد لافي محمد لافي محمد لافي نمبر 5 I explained it many times محمد لافي النفاعي I explained number 5 two times two exercises two sentences we discuss about the same sentence of number 5 I, I, I don't know guys what you are doing when I explain something I don't know really so I say one of the dogs one of the dogs So that means I mean one dog of the dogs, only one. I mean one dog, not the whole dogs. So I'm talking about one. That's why I underline this part in the sentence to understand, to help you understand. So one of the dogs, that means one dog of the dogs barks. Must be the second one with this, because I'm talking about one of the dogs. Fix it, Muhammad in the and pay your attention next time to the session. Okay, you seen? Okay, very good, Yasin. Very good. Uh, Ali Wael. Okay, no problem, Ali. No problem about the printing. But uh, Ali, I think um, you are confused. Uh, I, I want you to solve this page, Ali. This page on the screen. You know? This page. Solve this page, which is in the screen. Guys, pay the attention. This page, which is on the screen, I want you to solve it. Okay. Muhammad Ashraf. <clears throat> Muhammad Ashraf number two enjoys. As you see, my father is singular. No S at the end. So it must be enjoys. Okay, fix it. And number four, number four is wrong, yeah, Muhammad Ashraf. Our principle is singular, no S at the end. So you have to choose the verb which ends in S. So plays, okay? And here must be licks. Number seven, fix number seven, yeah, Muhammad Ashraf. We talk about a cat, only one cat, our cat, licks, okay? Okay, very good, Muhammad Ashraf. Is number four? Yeah, is principle. Our principle is singular. Our manager, okay, is singular. So must be plays with this fix number four. Okay. 
And here must be licks. We talk about our cat, and this is the name of the cat, Fuzzball. So Fuzzball is the name of the cat. So our cat is one cat. So it must be like licks. Okay, very good, guys. Abdullah Mishal, number four is wrong. Fix it. And number seven is wrong. I don't know what is the confusion in number four and number seven, guys. Number four, we say our principal. It's one principal, our manager. We talk about our manager. It's one person. So it must be like a place. And here we talk about our cat. You are, I think, you think about our. Our here is like a possessive adjective to describe that cat is ours. That's it. But cat is singular. We talk about the singular cat here. So this is singular. Ali, fix it, Ali, uh, Ali Wael. Uh, the same, the same mistake. And I don't know what is the problem of number four. Our principle is singular. Guys, our principle is singular. We are talking about one person. One person. Don't think about our, okay? So our here, skip it. Okay, so think about a principle. Principle is the singular subject in the sentence. Fix it, Ali. And number 10, Ali, the male man is singular. Must be deliverers, okay? Male man is singular. Okay, Ali. Okay, very good, Abdul Aziz. Muhammad Ahmed. Uh, number 10, Muhammad Ahmed. The male man is singular. The male man, not the male men. When I say the male men and change man to be men, this will be like a plural. But this one is singular. You see man here. Okay, very good, Muhammad. Khalid Sultan. Khalid, you sold another page. You have to solve this page, Khalid. This page, you have to solve it. Uh, I said many times, the page which is on the screen. Okay. And uh, this is the page, guys, if you want to solve it by yourselves. Thanks a lot, guys. And see you, inshallah. Time is up for this session. Goodbye, everyone. One more thing, guys, don't forget that page, uh, sorry, uh, page, uh, yes, uh, page 210 is homework, don't forget, okay, page 210 is homework, yes. Two hundred ten is homework. Okay, guys, thanks a lot, goodbye.